1966 or 7, I'm far too old to remember that far back. I was a little kid and I'd get on the bus and I would travel to Alhambra to a music store called Berry and Grassmook. And in the back, there were li it had these, these places where you could actually go in and put a record on and listen to a record. And then behind that, there were places where you could take uh, musical instruction. And my guitar teacher was this very unique guy who would bring in very strange instruments from around the world and go, wait, this is from this country, and you do it like this. <laughs> and, and then, you know, he went off to be a rock star. And um, so uh, when Melinda and I got married, uh, he was on a, a tour with Bonnie Raitt and, and who was the, the block chord piano player. They were on TV and I said, see that guy? That was my old guitar teacher. Oh, yes, honey, that's <laughs> So when I got into concert promoting 11 years ago, I actually, I had to call Mr. Dave up to be one of our first shows and he walked in the door and he went to Melinda. He said, does he still practice his guitar? And I said, I told you! <laughs> so anyway, please welcome uh, one of the treasures of my life, Mr. David Lindley. Just messing with you. <laughs> How's everybody tonight? I have to say it's such a pleasure to be Ooh, playing in a place that has a fabulous sound system like this place. Yay! Man. I've never drooled so much in my life. Mm. Got stains all over my instruments. <laughs> quite feel right to not have polyester pants on. <laughs> you know what I mean? These are very funky, though. I've had them on for three days. So it's kind of in the same ballpark. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I left my suitcase at the last hotel. Assumption is the mother of all screw-ups.
Makes money on the gun and knife Which man slaves he got their hands on the laundry life You just try not to feel complete When you learn to hate on a trench town street Events will come Events will come Events will come For every child kept down
sounding instruments I ever heard in my life. Doug Reynolds sent me this. He said, check this out. I, and I, I, I tuned it like I tuned one of my other slide guitars and, and it just all this stuff came out. It was so nasty it made me want to go drink the dishwater. <laughs> and look at it. It does look like that pattern I must say that there's a dinette set, a four mica dinette set that has that pattern. You know the one I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. There it is. some metal finger picks on. Ooh. See what it does with that.
I'm gonna do you one more tune here. This is a request. <laughs> to do this song, not to not do it. <laughs> I get that every once in a while because there's some songs that I do that are really disturbing. This song's about something else. It's called Cat Food Sandwiches. <laughs> Something that you people would like to know. We drove 600 miles to play a 45 minute show. 600 miles to play a 45 minute show. The promoter man said, Well, that's the way it goes. We got some cat food sandwiches waiting for you backstage. We got some cat food sandwiches waiting for you backstage. And the woman who made him look just like Jimmy Page. <laughs> we got some French cheese, smell like some old kind of tennis shoe. We got some oil slick cheese, smell like some old kind of tennis shoe. The flies buzz around it and the bees they like it too. We got old pork beef and oil slick ham, mystery meat, doop didn't like spam. Some kind of vegetable, warm and gray, ranch dressing, industrial grade, that's right. I ain't lying to you. We got lips and nose and ears and tongue. I just can't wait to get myself some. They got it all there in the gelatin base. Put it up to get a good animal face. But what is it? A cow, a pig, a chicken? I can't really tell. Cause it's in the head cheese. Stuck in a head cheese, hidden in a head cheese, just for me. Industrial grade, that's right. Ain't lying 
do you do? Oh, no. Got lips and nose and ears and tongue. I just can't wait to get myself some. You gotta call that in a gelatin face. Put it all together, get an animal face. But what is it? I can't really tell. How a pig, a chicken, I don't know. Cause it's animal parts in an aspect that's kind of hard to see what it is. But there was another head cheese, and it was in Ireland, and it was totally different. It was optical quality gelatin. It was amber optical quality gelatin, and it was a golden cube. And you could see everything inside clear as a bell. In fact, the walls of this golden cube were bowed out so it acted like a lens. And it amplified everything, made it bigger than life, just for me and my daughter. Vegetarian, daughter, that's right. I said, look, Roseanne, can you tell what that is? Oh, look, it's got taste buds. It's got big taste buds, little taste buds, all the way to the end. It's a slice of a pig's tongue, that's what it is. She said, I'm going to kill you pretty damn quick. I said, well, look at that, too. You know what that is? That's pig lips. Because you can always tell it got some little creases in there. Pig lips, just for you. And for me. Now I was looking for eyeballs in there. Because I knew if she saw those, she would really kill me. Because it was my fault she had this head cheese in a dressing room pig in Ireland. My fault. I didn't tell her she was a vegetarian. She got the head cheese in her dressing room. I was in trouble, cause she knew Kung Fu. Oh man. Yeah, there weren't any eyeballs, but boy, there were eyelids. A whole bunch of eyelids. And I could tell what they were because the eyelashes were still attached. Oh, that was in. It's a bunch of eyelids just for you. Check them out. You'll never see anything like this ever again. And it's not an Irish dish, it's an English dish. And the English tortured the Irish with this head cheese idea for 300 years. It's true. Irish lady told me that. She was in her 80s. She wanted to kill me too. And it was going to beat me. Man. I saw it. Oh no. I wonder if Roseanne saw that. It was about the size of a poker chip. And about oh, a less than a quarter of an inch thick. And it had fur on the outside, bristly hair on the outside, gray, you know. It had two comma shaped holes in it. So I figured. By its configuration, it must be a slice of a pig's nose. A slice of a pig's nose. It was a little furry poker chip, don't you know? A little furry poker chip, don't you know? A little furry poker chip, just for you and me. There it was, in all its pussy glory. It's a head cheese. There's a whole lot of other stuff happened that night. But basically, it all boiled down to one thing. Little furry poker chip, don't you know? Little furry poker chip. And it stayed in our heads forever. Once we saw it, there it was. In the front of my brain. And now, it's in your brain. Forever. Little furry poker chip. Now, little furry poker chip is for you, little furry poker chip, there it is. 
the way to you There's a dreams Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You've been a wonderful and uh, had a wonderful time. Too much fun. Thank you so much.